Josh. So today, when we do our opening, oh! Uh, hey everyone, welcome to a new frontier. Josh, what were you doing? Yeah, uh, welcome to a new frontier. We're so happy that you can join us so we can talk. Yeah, um, yeah we're going to be talking about uh, uh, stuff with our, our words and our voices. And no, yeah, that'll be it because no one's silent here. Nope, not a person. Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous, you're nervous. Hey, look, the Pony Express. <laughs> this week's letter is from Diego. Oh, hey, look at this. Whoa, that's so cool. Thanks, Diego. Oh, he writes, Hey, Josh and Becca, hope you like my drawing of you. Aww. I have a question, too. I heard in church that we're supposed to be generous, but I don't really have money. I don't even get an allowance. How am I supposed to be generous? Diego, that's a great question. I think people can give in lots of different ways. Sometimes people give money. Sometimes people give through the things they can do. I really love looking at my community for ways to give, like giving food to the food shelf or making packs for people who are homeless. Yeah, and I like to give in a ton of cool ways, like, uh... Well, you're a lot more musically gifted than I am, so... You like to give back through instruments and songs. Oh, yeah, yes, I do like those things. And you're really great at mime. I mean, I mean, oh, oh, whatever do you mean? What are you talking about? Was it mime? I don't know what that is. Josh, you've been taking mime classes since like first grade. I thought you stopped years ago, but earlier today we got some exclusive footage. Roll film, Ryan. I mean, that guy was in makeup, so it could literally have been anyone. Really? Yeah. Some random mime was just strolling down the street of our neighborhood, picked out our house, walked through the front door, turned on the cameras, and started practicing his mime. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this basement is the best in the tri-state uh, area. Look, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it. Clearly. Ha ha, very funny. Look, I have a reputation to uphold now. I'm in a band, I'm cool now. I do cool things only. This is cool! No, it's not, and you're not even doing it right. I'm sorry. Uh, look, I just, I, no one can ever know about this. We have to delete this footage. Ryan? Run, Ryan, Give run! Give me the SD card. Hey everyone, Josh is still chasing Ryan around somewhere. Apparently he's a little sensitive about the whole mime thing. Not really sure why though, he used to love it. Oh, but I've got an idea that I think might help. So stay tuned to New Frontier to see my master plan in action. What does the Bible say? We will find out today. Hey, hey. Our story starts with Jesus and his friends, the disciples. So, 
Do I get like a script for this or props? Nope. You don't have to say anything. Wait, hold on. I know what you're doing here. You're Just asking what does the Bible say? And like I said, the story starts with Jesus and the disciples. Go. They were sitting near a place called the temple, watching all kinds of people go by. People came to the temple to give money or gifts to God. Some of these people were very rich. These rich people gave a lot of money to the temple. They probably showed off how much money they were bringing so everyone would see how wealthy they were. Jesus and the disciples watched rich person after rich person go by and put in piles of gold and silver. Then someone passed by who was very different from the others. It was a woman who was very poor and had almost no money to live off of. In fact, she had only brought two coins, which were kind of like our pennies today, to give to God. Jesus and the disciples watched as she walked up and put in her two tiny coins. After that, Jesus turned to his disciples. He wanted to teach them something. She has put more into the offering box than all the others. They all gave a lot because they are rich, but she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. Okay, so that's nice. We should be giving away money? Well, I think giving's about more than just money. It's about helping others with everything we have, whether it's money, time, or things we can do that others can't. Becca. Like mime! <sighs> Becca, I've been trying to keep that a secret since... Since... Since I got made fun of for it in fifth grade, okay? I love it, but... I feel like if people are gonna see this, then... Jason Featherington is gonna pop out of the ceiling and make fun of me again. Josh, no one's gonna pop out and make fun of you. How do you know? Nobody knows? You don't know that? I don't even know what this has to do with the story anyway. Well, I guess I need a new plan. Or I need to make a call. Hello? Am I speaking to a mime? Hello, is someone there? Oh. <laughs> Wait, I, I know, I get it, I know, you can't talk. The whole mime thing. Okay, one second, I'll start a video call. Oh, man. Oh, there you are. My bad. <laughs>
Okay, so you're saying that God wants us to be generous and to give in different ways, just like these trees grow fruit in different ways. And the woman from the Bible story was generous because she gave everything she had. Yeah, she gave what she could because she loved God, not to look good in front of other people. We don't need a ton of money to be generous. We can be generous through the things that we do. I still don't know how I can give through mime. I've got that part figured out. Whoa! <laughs> this group uses the art of mime to tell stories about Jesus. Yes! They can tell people about Jesus wherever they go, even if they don't know the language. It's so cool! This is amazing! I think it's time for me to stop hiding what I like to do. I think it's time to mime. Right, you can't talk. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I need to answer Diego's question. Got it. Diego, you can be generous in so many ways. In fact, I can think of an amazing way you've already practiced being generous with us. You made us this amazing drawing and we love it. Your art is a fantastic way you can be generous. Oh, uh, okay. Josh is saying, there's one thing to remember for all of us from today. Okay. God has given me something to share. We can be generous with the things that we do, with our time, and even with the stuff that we have. However you choose to give, you are making a difference. I think Josh is saying, don't go anywhere. We've got something really exciting coming up. We'll be playing a game where we have to act like a mime. Oh, that sounds great. We'll be back in just a moment. And we're back with a new frontier. You're not all mimey though. No, that's because we get to talk through this one. Because we're gonna play Speed Charades, Western, Western edition. edition. In this game, we're gonna see who can get the other person to guess 10 things the fastest without using our voices. And since this is a new frontier, all the things we'll be acting out will be Western themed. Yeehaw! Giddy up! All right, Josh is up first, which means I'll be guessing. Are you ready? I think so. No talking. Three. Two, one, cup, mug, tea, coffee. You're pouring something, a kettle? Oh. Chili, chili dog, chili, soup, beans. Bull, longhorn bull, big steer. Be uh, bearded cow? Is a bearded cow? A buffalo! <laughs> The wind is blowing across the plains. Tumbleweed, okay. <laughs> Swing better, better. Axe, lumberjack, wood, gold. Mining, you're mining for gold. Mining with a pickaxe and you're running to the mine. <laughs> oh, 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 gold rush, yes, okay. Strong guy playing a ukulele. Uh, cowboy of ramp, big sombrero, big, yeah, oh, cool. Right. Post it, wanted poster. God, clouds. Bird. North, south, east, west, 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 west! <laughs> Giddy up, riding, horse, bronco, horse, stick, a, a pony, a stick pony, maple stirrup! Mail, mail, letter, postage, mailman, postage, letter, delivery, delivery, it's a mail deliverer. <laughs> maple stirrup, he gives us the mail. You're riding him on his, our props allowed. Mail, horse, giving us the mail. Mail delivery, envelope, mail, <laughs> question. 
<laughs> Pony Express! <laughs> Pony Express! Harmonica! Fire! Campfire! Warm! Ashes! Coals! Wood! Chopping wood! Campfire logs! Logs? You're really building really high! Building a campfire! Oh! <laughs> Done! Okay, my turn to guess. Three, two, one, go. A circle. Um, a snake. Rattlesnake. Um, a horse. Spurs. Cowboy boots. Horse boots? Horse shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, um. Okay. A necktie. I see you putting it around your head. Uh, uh, oh. Oh! <laughs> Bandana! A horse. Wild horses. Horses out on the prairie. Up north horses. Horses bright sky. It's up. Down. <laughs> sunset. Sunset? Horses. Horses at sunset. Riding off into the sunset. <laughs> Horse. Whoa, uh, a buck and bronco. <laughs> Oop. I'm, um, um, an eagle? Vulture. Ah. Horse. Gallop. Horse. <laughs> Stir up. Okay, saddle. Cactus. Yeah. Um, a cow. Cow with horns. Oh. oh. Um, oh, you. Cowboy. Wrangling horse, wrangling cows. Um, okay. Um, Oh! I'm um, <laughs> wrestling bulls. R wrestling cows. Wow! Wrestling cows? Wrestling cattle. Cattle? Cattle? Cattle wrestling. Cattle wrangling. I count that. Oh! <laughs> oh! Hooey! That was a right speedy game of charades. I am plum tuckered out from cattle wrestling. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to feel embarrassed about doing mime. I want to remember that I can be generous and do good through what I love to do. Yeah, that's a great thing for us all to think about. How can we be generous? What is something we can give away or do to help someone else? Look around you for your own way that you can be generous this week. And we'll see you next week on A New Frontier.